the deceased prisoner SKP and suspect William Capris has risen from nothing to a household name in Papua New Guinea. Whether it be for fear of him or the increasing interest he has generated in his criminal life that has elevated him to be very popular in the eyes of the general public. The media, politicians and even ordinary people on the streets have been talking, writing and reading about this man but do we really know who he is? In 2008, when he and his accomplices started their robberies in various parts of the country in Papua New Guinea and kidnapping various individuals and their families, there was a widespread fear especially in Port Mosby National Capital District, Papua New Guinea. Talk on the streets at the time was that it was the work of William Capris. When he was recaptured and put in an isolated cell at Bomana Maximum Lockup Prison in Port Mosby, the capital of Papua New Guinea, Attorney General and Minister for Justice at the time, Dr. Alan Marat and former Police Commissioner Peter Aigelo visited him in the cell. If he can roast the interest of such high-profile visitors, then he has roast the interest of everyone from elementary students to ministers of the state. Who then is William Capris? Is a converted Islam follower. He was the son of a deceased man by the name of Nanwa, who was originally from Isipik Pro but resided at Buvusi Oil Palm Settlement in Hoskins in Kimbe, West New Britain as a block holder. The old Nanua was among the first settlers to come to West New Britain province in 1969 when the oil palm settlement scheme was introduced. William was born in the West New Britain province in 1980. According to relatives and friends, he attended Buvusi Primary School from 1987 to 1992. He later then attended Kimbe High School from 1993 to 1996. William left his parents at Buvusi and stayed at Gigo Settlement on the outskirts of Kimbe Town when he was doing his high school at Kimbe as a day student. According to some students who attended Kimbe High School with him the same year, he was said to be a shy fellow and often dressed up in a religious way so his friends thought he was converted to a new religion. He was said to be a bright student in his class, often scoring good grades. After completing grade 10 at Kimbe High School in 1996, he continued to stay at Gigo Settlement with his stepfather, Paul Capris, who married his mother when old Nanua died. In 1996, he was converted to Islam and he and other friends were sent overseas to study Islamic doctrines. On January 10, 1997, he was arrested and charged by Kimbe police for the shooting and wounding of a detective sergeant Michael Kerehu at the Kimbe Lodge. He was also charged for the pay a young girl at Kimbe Primary School. After that, he was sentenced to 20 years for attempted murder and 5 years for rape before escaping from Lucky Mata Prison on April 19, 2001. On August 18, 2001, he was involved in the abduction of a couple who were at Dami Oil Palm Research Station in Oskins when the couple were held captive until the next morning. Their vehicle was also used by William and his men to hold up Titiro Nightclub, also in Oskins, where 3,000 kina worth of alcohol was stolen. Police apprehended him when his gang were attempting to hold up former West New Britain Governor Clement Nakmai and his delegate who were returning to Kimbe from an outstation trip. William was charged on six counts of escape from lawful custody, attempted murder, robbery, unlawful depression of liberty, unlawful use of motor vehicle, and second count of robbery. He was serving his term at Lucky Mata Jail when he escaped again with four others namely Stephen Tele, Stephen Lavo, Gabriel Monai and Philip Roy Rakui. They were arrested in Leib by police but using a snake bail, he escaped to East Pacific province. In May 2008, he was alleged to have robbed the Kerama Bank South Pacific and fled to Kimbe. Whilst in Kimbe, he and his accomplices were said to have to plan to rob the Kimbe BSP Bank branch but he decided against it. In the same year in July, the Madden branch was robbed by his gang, alleged to have been led by William Capris. He was eventually apprehended by police in Central Province along Maggie Highway in July 2008 and he was detained at Bomana Maximum Security Compound. In 2010, he held 11 hardcore convicted prisoners out of the maximum facility with the aid of a woman posing as a lawyer. He was recaptured a month later and was flown to Medang where he was found guilty for the robbery of Medang BSB Bank and convicted to 30 years in prison. According to a youth who knows William, he said, Once at Gigo Market, he confronted some youth who robbed a lonely elderly lady. He got the money from the youths, gave them back to the old woman and told the youths not to steal from old women who struggled to earn money but to steal from the rich people. In March 2012, he faced allegations of a female warden having a relationship with him in prison. In 2013, Capris, along with accomplices Wali Mini and Warangu, allegedly stabbed fellow prisoner Shane Aichi. He was arrested and charged with willful murder in March 2013, but managed to escape from Bomana prison in May 2013. Tragically, his criminal journey came to an end on July 23, 2013, when he was shot and killed along the Hiritano Highway.